A team of paleontologists from the University of California, Berkeley, the American Museum of Natural History, and the Field Museum discovered fossils in northern New Mexico that show for the first time that dinosaurs coexisted with their non-dinosaur ancestors for tens of millions of years towards the end of the Triassic period. This discovery, made at the Hayden Quarry in Ghost Ranch, New Mexico, disproves previous notions that dinosaurs rapidly replaced their supposedly outmoded predecessors. We found a new species here at the Hayden Quarry called Dromomeron romeri, and it means Romer's running femur. Al Romer was a famous paleontologist, and the species is uh, what, what is called the basal dinosaur morph, and it's one of these dinosaur precursors. And previously. Similar species were only known from much older rocks in Argentina. So this is the first time such an animal has been found in North America, and the first time it's been found in the late Triassic. So this really extends the range of this group of animals. The Triassic period lasted from 250 to 200 million years ago, during which time arose a variety of animals, including dinosaurs and crocodile relatives. The Hayden Quarry site is between 210 and 220 million years old. In 2005, I uh, visited here with uh, a colleague, Sterling Nesbitt, from the American Museum of Natural History, and we saw some of the bones that had been excavated and realized that quite a few of them were early dinosaurs. And this is really exciting because there are very few early dinosaurs known from the Triassic. So we immediately realized this was something very special and decided that it would be worth to come back here and do a large-scale excavation. Altogether, the researchers found 1,300 fossil specimens, including several complete bones, and they are continuing to excavate at three sites in the quarry, sifting through the debris for smaller fossils of mammals, lizards, and fish. Mostly what we're looking for here is uh, small vertebrae, small teeth, things that might have gotten chipped off or that we lost when we were actually collecting up at Hayden Tree. But there's plenty of small vertebrates that we wouldn't otherwise get uh, the way we're quarrying through. So screen washing is a great way to increase kind of the known taxonomic diversity of any single site. You almost always find more critters than you started out with. Already we found a couple of important teeth from a Silosaurid-like animal, which is only otherwise known from Europe right now in the late Triassic. We know we've got some at the Hayden Quarry, and so it's great to find some isolated teeth because that's going to give us a bigger sample size for the animal, and it's, allow, it's going to allow us to look at microstructure and wear on those teeth. Uh, the nice thing about that is this is an animal that's, or a group of animals that's probably the sister taxon or the most closely related animals to dinosaurs. And it seems to be that they were um, probably herbivorous, so very different than what we thought dino early dinosaurs and their relatives were like before.